we've just seen so many evidence over the past decade or so suggesting that relatively straightforward, simple interventions can, can really help the quality of life of kids. I think of fluid intelligence as your ability to problem solve, to come up with original or novel answers to novel problems. And this is the type of intelligence that people need to use every day. It, obviously it's very novel, it's new, it's not a normal activity in school to go and do some really hard exercise on the bike and then to come down and play what, what, we, what we called uh, games, but really they're not games. They're, they're exercises, they're actually hard exercises. I guess you could draw the analogy, it's, you know, just like a professional sportsman, they don't go out and play games all the time, they go and they train specific attributes really hard to make them better. It's the exact same with, with these brain exercises, it's training specific attributes of how you think of your fluid intelligence to try and improve them. At the start, they didn't really, they, it was different to the games that they were used to, so they kind of saw it as schoolwork more so than something that they would have enjoyed. And then towards the end, we saw that they wanted to participate in it and that they wanted to improve their um, high scores and they wanted to better what they got previously. Here in the school, we're firm believers in the holistic development of the child, and this project enabled us to work with the children both at a physical level, a mental level, and an emotional level. Without a shadow of a doubt, there's a, there's a direct link there between you know those children being engaged physically and it also leading to very positive knock-on effects to their academic work. This project has operated on a shoestring, but without a shadow of a doubt, it has shown us that you know physical ex exercise can positively impact on their mental attainment, their cognitive attainment levels their ability to focus, their ability to stay zoomed in, that has improved dramatically. Not in a way that we can really measure very well, but in a very real way. There was great uh, dedication and commitment and they were excited. The project never became monotonous or boring. So th there was um, an enthusiasm and full participation and motivation to do their best. And um, possibly for some of these kids as well, I felt that it was the first time, independent of bookwork or independent of a curriculum, that they actually wanted to succeed in something.